video tutorial 9. Uh, we spent a lot of time looking at images, which is the first type of object you can use in EasySketch Pro. Uh, it's time to move on to the second type of object, and that is text. Um, we'll find that a lot of the uh, a lot of the stuff we can do with text is exactly the same as we can do with um, images because they're both objects as far as EasySketch Pro is concerned. But let's uh, let's go into the uh, image library and let's go to characters and let's bring our hunter on and move him up here, here a bit. We might now want to add some text to go with our image. Uh, to add text you come up here to the big capital A. If you hover over it it says add text. If we click on that we get into the text editor. Um, this is fairly straightforward, it's pretty much like any other text editor. Uh, you can see here in the top left hand corner I've got uh, the font Sketch Rockwell, but if we click the down arrow uh, we can see there's <coughs> the full, excuse me, <coughs> full range of fonts that you've got installed on your computer. So uh, as you add fonts to your computer they'll be available in Easy Sketch Pro. We'll leave it with Sketch Rockwell at the moment. We've then got uh, the text font size. Uh, we've got 40 at the moment but we can move up and down here all the way down to 5 up to 120. Uh, however it doesn't really matter because uh, the font size doesn't really matter because we can resize the text after we've uh, put it onto the canvas. So we'll leave it at 40 at the moment. Uh, we've then got uh, normal font, uh, bold, italic and italic and bold. I mean if you've used the word processor all this will be familiar with you. And then we've got the colour of the uh, the font is shown here, it's a sort of blue. If you want to change the colour of the font, we click on this button here, which brings up a pick a colour and all the various swatches, just um, just as we had with the background uh, or canvas colour earlier on. So we can change the font colour, let's pick uh, red, say, and then we pick OK, and now we can type anything we like in here. This is a hunter, say. And when we're ready, click on OK, and eSketch Pro adds it to the middle of the canvas. Just like uh, this is just an object like uh, images are, so the hunter was the first on the canvas, has a number of one, uh, the text is the second object on the canvas, so it has number two. And just like uh, with images, we can uh, double click on the text to select it and then we can put the cursor in anywhere inside the text, uh, hold the mouse button down and we can drag it around uh, drag it around the canvas like that. Uh, we can also click on either of any of the four uh, blue dots and we can, this is what I mean about the font size didn't matter that much because we can change the size of the text this way. We can rotate it just as we can with images and so on. There we go. Uh, again, just as with images, we can select the text, right click, bring up the brings up the objects menu, and we can use uh, all of these various uh, options here, just as we had with images. There is an extra one here called Edit, which uh, is available for text, and if you click on that, it brings up the text editor, and you can make changes. Um, note also that we've got uh, the alignment buttons over here, this is lined left, um, but if we want to align it centre uh, or right align it we can do that as well. Um, also you can um, put uh, additional lines in just by pressing enter. This is a hunter and he is add exclamation mark, sorry, exclamation mark, uh, OK. So we put the thing and it comes back onto the canvas. Uh, that's uh, left to the lines, but if we wanted it centre lines, we could do that. And we find that the text is now centred. OK. Um, so we can move this around. Let's, um, let's go back into here. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let's edit again and let's make it left aligned and let's just get rid of that line okay so there we go now let's straighten that up a bit uh, the other options 
uh, duplicate uh, clearly we can duplicate the text by clicking on that again it's highlighted or we can drag it away that's quite useful if um, you've got a particular size of text a particular color and a particular font you're using and you want to use that consistently with different text so you can uh, duplicate a piece of text and then come in here and edit the copy to, to however you want it. Um, we've got delete, uh, order up and order down just as um, uh, we have with images at the moment the hunt has been drawn first and then the text uh, but if we want to uh, have the text done first we can click on order up and that now becomes number one the text becomes number two. Uh, let's get rid of that one. Um, we've got uh, copy setting and paste setting exactly as with the images so we can take the same animation effects from one uh, object to another. We can flip the text horizontally I'm not sure why you want to um, and you can flip the text vertically again not terribly sure why you want to but you can uh, and we have all the usual properties uh, animation effects uh, for the text. At the moment the default is draw by hand uh, it's going to take three seconds so if we just have a look at that we press play this is a hunter and it's taking three seconds to draw and there's our hunter okay um, and we can use the various other options we can have draw uh, without the hand coming in uh, click apply OK now if we draw it now it just appears like that okay and then the we'll get rid of that and come back here I'm not sure why that keeps coming up 25 seconds but uh, it no doubt be fixed um, we have got exactly the same as before drag in so let's bring it in from the bottom left hand corner and let's have it do it in one second so we can apply that OK press play and in it comes and then we draw the hunter and I think you know the form by now we can also drag in by hand uh, apply and the hand will drag the text in okay and then finally we have fade in uh, let's apply that okay and press the thing it fades in in one second and then we get the hunter drawn and of course uh, we have the same options for exit at the moment it's doing nothing so the text stays on the canvas um, but we can pick uh, fade out remember to set a drawing time otherwise it will be instantaneous unless you want it to disappear in instantaneously um, let's make that well, let's have it oops a couple of seconds say and apply and OK if we do it now it comes on and then slowly fades out OK and then the hunter gets drawn OK and finally we've got drag out so let's that make that happen um, over say one second uh, apply OK and now it appears and then gets dragged out so it's all exactly the same principles um, as with uh, as with images. Okay, just one final point I want to uh, to make on text because uh, I do get a lot of queries along the along these lines. Let's um, come in and let's write something in Tahoma font. Uh, Hello world, say. Okay, let's move you over there. Now, if I press play, you can see the the text is sketched out but it's colored in after the text is finished writing let me show you again so we're getting the outline and then the color comes in only when the text has been written a lot of people ask whether um, easy sketch pro can color the text in as it goes um, and that is I understand uh, on the schedule to do but there is at least one font where that happens and we've already seen it uh, it is find it sketch rockwell so if we write the same thing in sketch rockwell over here and now if I press play we see we get the outline with the Tahoma font but then with the sketch rockwell 
it actually colors it in as it goes along so um, this may uh, not be an issue by the time you watch these tutorials it may be that there are other fonts many other fonts where the coloring happens as the lettering is written um, but at the moment uh, there's at least one you can use which is sketch rockwell okay so bear that in mind um, and that's the end of uh, the text as I say at the end of the day it's uh, another object and you can pretty much do everything with text that you can do with images uh, with the added option of editing thanks a lot